punches like a war if they wanna give them more when I touch down. God for me, who could be against me? I guess all the that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. East Coast, the six fours hitting switch. It's not a conflict of interest. Cut it with the business. West Coast rocking them Timberlands, deep up in them trenches. It's no difference. Neither one play games when swinging for them fences. We want the finer things that, that's expensive. They, they hit them either close range or at a distance. If God for me, why bother? I got my game from the Godfather. Top of the food chain, rock bottom. And handle my business when it was my problem. Gee. Crossing with a gold chain. I got my Turkish rope with matching gold fangs. Bomber jacket in the winter, it's a cold game. I met some East Coast up in Spokane. Some of the realest in this dope game. I got my curly top looking like special ed. Clean fade on the side, bumping that red head. Clean tags when I ride, ducking the bed feds. East Coast, they get that bread bread. You, you put the put the you end up dead, dead. The West Coast, they leave that spray. And now you got only your great hate. If God for me, who could be against me? I guess all of that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. Still trying to the riches. East Coast, the six fours hitting switch. It's not a conflict of interest. Cut it with the business. West Coast rocking them Timberlands. Deep up in the trenches. It's no difference. Fourth and inches. I'm finna hit a lick and handle business. I got it down. She real vicious. Rock a vibe, baby. No witness. This is not even a conflict. You no nonsense. Got the same way in Brooklyn and Compton. But with that gang gang, then make a profit. On top. Stay popping. Look. See, I was the high school slick, Rick, I was styling. Fat gold chain with an African medallion. Hip hop connoisseur and rolling 20 equipment. Rap game real tight, freestyle was magnificent. All about the clout and all about my dividends. Them older couldn't tell me different. I need a roundaway girl to live in. Showtime at the Apollo. I'm, I'm about the bottom. Take two and pull out a little for my. Who won't live to see them all? If God for me, who could be against me? I guess all of that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. It's that eight, boy. Yeah, my day ones here to dance it up again. So you know it's only right, that's how we eat. Came all the way from losing to win. Yeah, I did it. But it ain't just me, it's the whole team. Share with the whole team, congratulate the whole team. Know when you riding like we riding with each other, and no I in this. It's the whole team. Share with the whole team, congratulate the whole team. Know when you riding like we riding with each other, and no I in this. Tell them line it up, like a fourth and one. We sneaky when we slide, though. Y'all on offense with no defense. Now y'all time is up. We make. 
the hits, I take the hits, and now we fired up. Three, two, one, don't need no break. Hut one, hut two, give it straight, that's how I like it. And we grind it every night to make it here, now it's exciting. See, they just getting cake, they ain't never gonna get no ice. And all we want is chips, ring fingers looking ice. My day ones, here to dance double beginning. So you know it's only right, that's how we end it. Came all the way from losing to win. Yeah, I did it, but it ain't just me, it's the whole team. Share it with the whole team. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Tonight, we finish off week four with a good Monday night matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Detroit Lions. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Start on the ground with Swift. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second and seven, Corral. And he rifles one incomplete. The intended target, T.J. Hawkinson. But now it's third down. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. On third down, Corral. And he's taken down. This will be a brown sack. Jadevian Clowney. In there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep, Jakeem Graham. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Returnable here from the 38. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and the Browns will take over first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the 50, it's Watson. Drops it off for Chubb. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender and work to the defense's advantage on that play. Throwing on third down, Watson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. And that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up fourth down. 
So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. Wow, I mean, it's so rare to even see one attempted from that distance, CD, let alone converted, but he came through with confidence and matches what was Tom Dempsey's 43-year NFL record at one point of 63 yards. Yeah, I can still see that highlight of Dempsey making that kick, and nowadays we see it a little bit differently because, remember, Dempsey was a straight-on kicker. But these guys nowadays, the range keeps increasing, and they keep putting it through the posts. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. Swift is hit, and he coughs it up. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. So problems with Aaron passing continuing. Remember, he threw two picks in the loss last week, and now another here in this first quarter. And sometimes, partner, this is the result of a quarterback who's simply trying to do too much. Feels like he's trying to make up for what he did last week, and he can't do it all on one throw. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Browns are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead grows to 10-0. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Man open, it's Goodwood. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The Lions had 0-3 here to begin the campaign. And you hate to have to say it this early in the season, but you're getting close to must-win time, is it not? And I totally understand why you expressed it that way because it's so early in the season, it feels like hyperbole. Corral under pressure, and down he goes. Jadevian Clowney now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Corral here working from the gun. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's three sacks now, and this team came into the game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this is not, it's not been their bread and butter. I don't know, is a blind squirrel finding a nut, or is this something they can build on? Well, they found some momentum. They found a crack in that offensive line, and they're putting it to good use. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. 
On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Returnable for Grant. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And they will take over first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. 51 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now it's Watson, the bootleg. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Chubb on the counter. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-0 the score, score after ten. one on EA Sports. Again on first down, Chubb down at the 25. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? From the 25 on second down, Watson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. Now Watson will step away, and out comes Cade York to handle this fourth down field goal try for the Browns. York able to send this one through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx him. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They find themselves down 13-0 here as they try to get things started offensively. First and 10. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On the play fake, Corral. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Corral from the gun on third down. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he is going to have a Lions first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. 
A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, it's Corral. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down, and a near sack they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit, maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. Right side to Williams. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. A gain of 16. Brings up fourth down. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Browns will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Browns drive about to get started. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where you're hitting. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again, <laughs> and again, and again. And again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Lions, nothing. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I think <laughs> yes. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. The Lions on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Corral takes a shotgun snap. And that is incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here comes Grant on the return. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Browns drive about to get started. 
It really doesn't get much easier than the last drive. One play, and they took it all the way to the house on the touchdown run. And you know how many times we talked about that's exactly how they drew it up because essentially every play that's drawn up in an offensive playbook, if everyone does their job perfectly, should go for a touchdown, right? That's one that actually did. Give a little credit to those big fellows up front, too. They sprang their man for not only a big gain, but six points. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Watson. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Watson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this one is incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Back to throw, Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions are going to take over at their own 41. So that potentially an important takeaway here in this second quarter. Because what it does is give their offense a chance to put a drive together. They've got nothing on the scoreboard so far. So you have to think that they need something before the break. And now they have an opportunity. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Here's Corral on first down. He's airing it out for Williams. Touchdown! Jamison Williams, his first touchdown on the year. And the Lions are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that cuts this lead down to 13. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The Browns drive about to get started. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Off of play action, it's Watson. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. 
The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. drive about to get started well, Charles for them pretty good first half on the ground they had some success running the ball in quarters one and two and they've got the lead now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive the there he goes left side and all the way in touchdown Cleveland Nick Chubb his third touchdown of the game his eighth on the year and the Browns come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. New York now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. Makes the score Browns 27, Lions 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. The Corral with it on first down. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. That's good for the Lions. First down. Here's Corral with it. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Corral, another throw on second down. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Under pressure, they got him again. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Looks like another empty possession here, partner, and I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. they got to find some answers quickly. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 38-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They built up that lead at intermission. And they're just continuing to pour it on right now, aren't they? Locked into a really good groove right now. I don't know if it's just the play calling. I know the execution is really, really sharp right now. And all the playmakers are doing exactly what you expect. They're making plays. And right now, defense has no answer and no chance of catching up. Yeah, they're just looking to turn anywhere for a stop defensively. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Quick throw completed by Watson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third down, here's Hunt. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up four. The Browns send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. 
And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And a great job on special teams to doubt it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charlie. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. <laughs> There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year, and our score will stay right where it is. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Ronnie Harrison that time able to make the tackle. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game. And really, they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game. And I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. He's got a man complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 37 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Back to throw, Corral. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Now Corral. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Lions are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a 19-point ball game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. In motion goes the tight end. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. 
This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Derek Barnes came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? A four-yard pickup that gets him going forward, but still 15 yards left on third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. So he stopped for no gain. And that's going to make it fourth down. No gain on the play. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Corral's throw complete there to St. Brown. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. On first down, Corral. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Lions are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, that interception at least offers them a glimmer of hope here in the fourth quarter. That certainly does if their offense goes out now and makes it pay off by getting into the end zone. And if it does, then they get a chance to get back out on the field and try and do it again. Maybe they can force that offense into more and more mistakes and give them a chance to get back into this one totally. They have still a three-score hill to climb. We'll see if they can do it. To throw again on second down. Corral. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. On third down, Corral. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 44-yard line. 
A first down throw here for Corral. He's airing it out for Williams. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Corral, another throw coming. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Linval Joseph breaking free and dropping him. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. In a game that hasn't gone your way, you've got to throw in the end zone at every opportunity and hopefully climb back in as much as possible. He put way too much on that throw, though, and that shot ends up with nothing. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Corral. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Browns will take over here just shy of the 30. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it or you start thinking about going to his backup. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Watson, off play action. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Taking it about the 16. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now again, it's Corral. He's got this complete to Williams. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. To throw on second and 10. Corral. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. 
He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Browns are going to win the football game. The Browns drive about to get started. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Second down, here's Chubb again. There he goes, right side. 30, 10, 5. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. So it goes from a three-score to a four-score lead here in the closing moments of the fourth quarter. And whether they got that bonus touchdown or not, it's been a pretty impressive performance. And they did it with not much time left. But they took what little time was on the clock and used it well, didn't they? Put a real exclamation point on their win with that score. Lions 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Their catch made at the 25-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Browns, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they'll sink now to 0-4. And, and they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. Years before, but I don't know. Are you ready? 